Okay, believe it or not, this is a yacht party, correct? This is a yacht party. And judging by the look of things, you would think there's no women, no bitches on this yacht. The yacht is packed with women. And you guys want to know what the cost of getting into this party was? $3,500. $3,500. These niggas paid $3,500 to dance around each other and not talk to none of the hoes that's in there. None of the hoes. Their entire brand is teaching men how to pick up girls, how to attract women, how to better themselves, financial freedom, financial literacy. But they told their fans to pay three thousand five hundred. What a part! What what part of paying three thousand five hundred dollars to stand around a bunch of niggas, a bunch of hot sweaty niggas, and not talk to no bitches is part of? The financial literacy part. What part of that is smart, intelligent, or anything that you guys preach? This is why I have a problem with dating coaches, right? And people like this. Because they prey on vulnerable men who think that there's some kind of script to getting girls. Like there's some kind of secret method to doing it. So they have you guys paying these subscriptions on a monthly basis. And they got, I don't know, 30, 50 men to pay $3,500. And you just heard him. No bitches. No hoes. Come to the dance floor. What the fuck? What am I here for? I paid $3,500 to not be with the hoes? And these are the same kind of influencers who consistently talk about, okay, don't pay for OnlyFans, don't pay for porn, don't pay for all this stuff. But at the same time, they're having y'all pay for monthly subscriptions that are worth more than any OnlyFans. There's no OnlyFans that cost 50, 50 bucks a month or $3,500 payments to go somewhere. And if you guys don't believe it, the girls that are there, they're not even there for them. They're literally just there for the clout. They're there for the free drinks and the free vibes. They're not interacting with none of these niggas. And if you guys don't believe it, here, look. There's a clip from Abbott and Preach. i seen this clip. I couldn't find it on the stream, so I just pulled this shit up. But look at this. Hey, ladies, just like to say what's up to the camera. Introduce yourselves. Uh, apparently, you guys are from Czech Republic. No, definitely. Where are you guys from? Oh, she's scared. It's, it's, only, it's too late that you got your identities. Picture, look, the Europeans are getting scared. They're running away. You don't, you don't want to be on camera? Are you scared? Why are you scared? Why are you scared? Oh, she don't want to say she's like, oh shit. Oh shit. I'm here illegally. I'm, I'm here. I'm here illegally. It's crazy. <laughs> God damn. They scared. They pussies. No, y'all. They're literally scaring the hoes away. This is a prime clip of scaring the hoes away. See, people like this have you guys fooled when they show you guys these cars, this money, all stuff like that, right? And their business acumen is good, and they're definitely making a good amount of money. I mean, they got 40 people show up on a yacht paying $3,500. It's not really a yacht. It should like a ferry, to be honest. Let's, just, let's call it a yacht. But they have you all fooled thinking that they get these girls because of who they are, because of how thorough they are, because of their game, because of their personality. When in reality, these bitches are just here for the money. All of them. They come on the podcast for the clout. They come on these yacht parties for the money. Fresh himself was caught on Sugar Baby, Sugar Daddy websites. He only consistently tricks out on girls. He's always flashing his cars. Like, everything about him is what he has and not who he is. And they use these means. They use events like this to fool y'all into thinking that, okay, if I buy their membership, then I'll become like them. Then I'll have all these girls and I'll be invited to events like this. It's like, bro, you don't want to be a part of something like this. Like, you could literally do this by yourself. You and a couple of your homies can run out of boat and invite bad bitches that actually will fuck with y'all on the boat. And they're going to be there because of y'all. The networking in Castle Club is actually insane. For $50 a month, bro, my life has changed forever, needless to say, man. Stop being a fucking brokey. Stop fucking complaining on some bullshit, bro. Like, this shit is real, man. We're really out here networking with each other, having a good-ass time, bro. Yeah, they're networking, guys. They're definitely networking on here. This is definitely changing their lives. It's, this is really a pyramid scheme at the highest of levels, bro. 
and it's trickled down to so many different avenues. And I hope you guys don't confuse my content for shit like them, because even though I talk about dumb shit that women do, I feel like their content is geared more towards making you guys hate women, right? These are people who their whole lives weren't able to get girls, right? Women hated them. They never really figured out why. And once they got money, they spent every second of their lives trying to get back at these women that did what they did to them when they were younger. You could even tell by the vibe of the party. Like, look at this nigga. Look at this fat tub of lard, bro. He's like, this bitch is terrified. Like, what is he doing? Dude, this is this is the Castle Club Platinum Knight member. This is this is what they teaching y'all right here. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this brother. Look, what, what the fuck is he doing? Look at this shit. Look, she's terrified. She's only playing the third for the camera. All the bitches are by themselves, and the men are in separate areas. So. If their whole thing is teaching y'all how to get girls, why are y'all not approaching these women? Why are y'all not talking to these women? Why are y'all not actually pursuing these women? Why are, Why is this a sausage fest? Y'all could have did this by yourselves. Y'all don't have to invite girls here. But again, it's for the optics. It's for the illusion. It's for them to appear thorough to y'all. Appear like they getting bitches. Appear like they actually having something really going on. When in reality, these girls are just here for the free drinks, the free lick. And afterwards, they're going to go fuck with the red that they actually want to fuck with. And I just want to know, when do we become so gullible as a society? Like, can, I feel like any real man who really get into it can see that this shit is some bullshit. Like, this is literally like some high school frat nerd shit that they just ended up getting some bread. And the only reason they even touch it is because they host an events like this. Because they're having people pay all this money to come hang out with them and do shit like this. And I just want a consistent type of criticism right or, or consistent type of opinion because if we're gonna criticize men for tricking on their wives like i see i see them talk about don't buy your wife this and that don't compliment your girl don't do all shit like that right but they'll promote paying three thousand five hundred dollars to hop on a yacht with a bunch of niggas and not talk to no bitches and obviously i get it you guys are gonna say you don't need to talk to women to have fun you don't need to interact with women to have fun you can just have fun without it I get that, but you don't need to pay $3,500 to do so. You can do that anywhere else. And if you weren't here for the bitches, like, what are you here for at the end of the day? This was a party. If you actually wanted to have your own little meeting, clan, castle club, whatever shit, you could just have that shit in someone's curve. You don't have to have a yacht with a bunch of bitches on it. Again, it's the fool, y'all. It's the illusion. It's the optics. Like, there's no way you could paint this as cool to me or thorough. Like, there's no way anyone that's normal would really want to be a part of this shit. Like, really, look like look at this. Look at what's going on right now. Look at this. The, the hoes are all in different areas. They're all as far away from them as possible. No, like, no, this is, look at this shit. No one's fucking with them. Look at it. What is he? Like, this is crazy. I ain't gonna lie. This nigga better be careful before he fucking sink the shit. Look, this nigga's astonished. He don't know what to do with this. Look, his hand, he get all awkward and shit like that. Hand stuff in his pockets. He don't know what to do. He keep tapping her like she the bird. Look, he trying to fight. Look, like, come on. So then after the yacht party, I think they got a lot of criticism because of it was being lame. It was corny, which it 100% was. It was super corny. It was super weird. They got on, the, they got on their podcast. They started talking about it. And they're saying it flops. Nigga, we made a profit. Niggas have fun. We at the club afterwards. And, and the goal wasn't girls. to make a bunch of money, yeah. stupid fucks. And, and I, the goal wasn't to make a bunch of money, but they charged y'all $3,500. They didn't charge the women. Women got on for free. They charged the loyal supporters, their fans, the castle club members, knights, golden armor, whatever the fuck that shit called. They charged y'all to get on that yacht. Did y'all network? It didn't like y'all was networking to me. It like y'all was dancing, having a ball. And I told y'all that from the beginning. Sense. But in any case, we had we showed them a good ass time. Everyone had fun. No, but was there anybody complaining who actually went? No, no, yeah, so then, no, no. Only haters that talk yeah. shit about us trying to say like that this party there. was whack. Bro, I fucking oh my god, man. Those go right. to take over real quick. But yeah, go uh, those are bad yeah. out of context. Ask edits. anyone that was actually at the party mm. what the fucking ratio was, bro. I cock block myself. <laughs> no, the ratio was thorough. But y'all wasn't doing nothing with it. Y'all was sitting there just staring at all the bitches. Just take a look at this one interaction that they have, right? I saw the other interaction with the Czech Republican girls, whatever the hell they were. Thanks, Harry. Hey, y'all go watch Angie on Fabry X. <laughs> My bro, you guys want to say what's up to the people? Y'all want to say what's up? Huh? Hey, everybody. There's a bunch of AC blowing yeah. out. Yeah, the AC blowing out. Yo, this is where I needed to be all yeah, night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's why they're standing in front of us. Yeah, you feel me? Yeah. 
what's your name? My name's Prada, but Prada? my real name's Angelica, yeah. Well, I was going to say, Prada's your government. I was going to say, what Because we know that shit was not yeah, your government. Yeah, like it. And if it was? It wasn't. It would have been Pride. But it wasn't. But what if it was? No. It's not, because you're not I would have been proud of you. Like, why is he so aggressive with her? <laughs> like, why is he fucking her? Like, I swear to God, bro, I, I can't understand why, like, niggas like this want to argue and women want to... Get all hostile with him. Like for him, this is Riz right now. This is a this is y'all might view I might view it as hostile, but in his mind he rizzing her up. In his mind he's spitting game right now. You know that like that kind of Riz where people get like or men bit all the time on the girls or they get real aggressive with them or they constantly make fun of them and they never say what they mean or really say what they want to do with them. This is what he doing right now. Hey, see, you're not black. Look, see, look, he, he thought that shit was third. So they would never name their wife. They would never name their wife. What's your Latina name? My name's Angelica. Anyways, that is we want to better Is it really? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So how do you feel? I feel great. I just had to get some AC for sure. What's so funny? No, because I... No, nothing. Nothing. So what you getting into tonight? What's after? After the yacht, what you going to get into? Um, I don't know. I'm not from here. I'm from Virginia. So, um... Pretty much just gonna, yeah, I'm pretty much just gonna try and get some fucking water and cool down and uh, find out where the bitch is gonna be after this. Find out where the bitch is gonna be after this. Not the niggas, not the men. Not the super thorough alpha castle club knights in armor. Not them. She gonna find out where the bitch is at. So the bitches in there is on the bitches and afterwards they try to see what the bitches is on. But they, but they membership club is, is helping y'all so much. It's really helping y'all get women and helping y'all get bitches and elevate these people. Like, this, this shit is just sad, bro. I, I, I can't believe that there's actually men out here paying for shit like this, right? What I want to do on this channel, y'all, is give y'all a realistic view of how the world is. I don't want to paint some kind of picture or be on some fraud shit and try to convince y'all to hate girls in order for y'all to get them. Y'all have to hate women, disrespect them, and do all this crazy shit. To attract them, that's not the, that's not what it is, bro. You don't have to be that. You don't. It's, it's no area in life where just being a shitty person is going to get you something that you want. It only works for them. It doesn't really work for them. If they don't have money, they're not getting no girls. So you're in luck because they're shoveling out tons of cash to bring these girls in, and then in turn, most of their money is made through y'all. So they pay the girls to be in certain areas to bring them on. And then you guys pay them thinking that they're actually getting girls because of who they are and not what they have. Yeah, man. Don't ever, if I ever find out that one of y'all paid $3,500 to be on yacht. Bro, listen, we I wasn't paying $5 to hop into a college party. I damn sure ain't paying $3,500 to hop into a yacht party. Not, not as no grown ass man. I don't know. But yeah, man, bro. <laughs> it's been your boy, Dean. <laughs> and I'm out.